Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Chick. This is the windy, windy, windy outdoors. I still have with me Mr. 30, Adam Crawford, set up in that shelter right there. He's already fishing. I can't tell if my camera's even uh, foggy or not because I don't have my glasses on. They're in the shack and keeping them warm. It is a storm, like a winter storm right now. 50k winds. I can't believe we actually got the shelter set up, but we're trying to do it. We're trying to make the big things happen. Big wallies are on the agenda. Last video I talked about how that my top five techniques are not my techniques, my top five like tips for walleyes. Today's we're just going to hopefully put some big walleyes on the ice and talk about whatever. I might have a special guest joining me today. If not, in the next video for sure. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a uh, cold. I'm gonna go inside and start fishing. Let's do it. Nice mark coming on the right here, slowly. And here we go. Here we go. This mark came right down to me. Look at this, this is a big, this is a nice mark. Come on, oh, come on, come on. Yes, good fish, good fish, big fish, big fish. I watched that mark slowly, slowly cruise in from the right. I don't know how big it is, but it's nice. Oh boy, oh boy, that looks big on the imaging anyway. How, I don't know, it came up pretty quick. On my bait, baby, on the Insanity Pepper, no bait. Ooh, baby, I got bubbles, I got bubbles. Yeah, that's a big fish, that's a big fish. It's a big walleye. That was so cool, it came in so slow. And then as soon as I saw my spoon, it just dipped right down to the bottom. Ooh, ooh, I don't wanna get caught up in the mega live. I have to pull that out, I will, but it's nice. I don't know, I don't know how big yet, but it's definitely big. First fish, first, my first walleye on the Insanity Pepper. I just got him, it's big. It's big. I'll have to call Adam over. He's got the bump board. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's really big. It's really big. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's an absolute hog. Adam, bring your board. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's an absolute hog. It's an absolute hog. Hog. I'm not even going to pull it out yet. Look at that. Hardly hooked. Holy. Hardly hooked. Oh, Adam, it's a tank. Come in here, dude. Put your put your board here. We'll measure it, and then I'll and I'll get up to actually get probably. You stay in with me. Yeah, I'm just until I. Up. Oh boy. Oh, it's it is a Holy absolute smoke. pig. A pig. Oh my goodness, Adam. Thirty-one and a quarter. It's Thirty-one and a quarter inches. It's an absolute hog, Adam. Oh my goodness. It's thirteen. Thirteen. 13, 13, 16, right? 14. That's 14 pounds. Yeah. It's a 14 pounder. <laughs> oh, 14. I just broke my PB. I just clicking in. I just busted my PB. Unbelievable. Sorry. I can't even. <laughs> I just caught my PB wall. I can't get in the screen. I'm going <laughs> to. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? It's an absolute giant. Like giant. Unbelievable. Holy cow, I'm gonna oh, put man. it back in the water for a sec. I don't need a photo, I'm just gonna cut one from the video and... I can take a quick one if you want. No, okay. no, that's okay. Okay. Okay, I had it back in the water for a second. <laughs> I oh my goodness. I debated doing a photo, but I just wanna get a better shot here on the video. I'm not gonna do a photo. That, that's the biggest walleye, heaviest walleye I've ever caught. I've caught longer, but that's 14 pounds. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at the oh belly on that Oh my goodness. Man. Adam, it's an absolute <laughs> sow. I've never seen one that big. It's an absolute sow. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you must've been dropped down for what? A couple minutes, five minutes? Five minutes. Unbelievable. No bait. Dinner bell. My insanity pepper. That's my awesome. the one that was like we made right there frostbite made for clayton if it ain't chartreuse it ain't no use <laughs>
Unreal. I can go home, I guess. Did you see it wheel in on the Mega? It moved in so slow. It must have took 30 seconds to move all the way in, and I was popping it, and I saw it shoot down to my bait, and I just started to just pound it on the bottom. All of a sudden, it just ate right off the bottom. Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say right now. Like thir 13, 16, 16 ounces is 14. Why didn't it turn over to 14? Why did you say 13, 16? I don't know. That's so weird. And I have it on ounces. It's not on, it's not on, uh, make sure. The, oh, maybe it's, no, it's not on ounces. Okay. I have to, this is, that was not an official PB. It never turned over to ounces. It was 13 pounds, one six. So that's not, this isn't an ounces because this goes up. So it's not, it, I got to, it's not my PB. It wasn't 14 pounds either. It was 13 pounds, one six. I just got confused. I thought 16 was 16 ounces and that's why I didn't turn over because it's not in that reading. So hmm. yeah, 13.16 pounds. Unbelievable. I'm not going to lie. I almost didn't go out today because it was so windy. And if it wouldn't, been for having Adam with me today and this is his last day to fish right now with me I'd be back at the cabin editing like honestly sometimes with the work that I, I do now with YouTube it's hard to necessarily fish the gross cold windy stormy days because you also have to find time to edit videos and stuff that's why I have been that's why I had such a, a long break between my videos because i've been out trying to capture some footage too like right now i have two videos to edit my i still have to edit my day two camping video from uh the the last camping trip i put out and then an, that video which obviously you just saw the last one and this one so it's like i'm behind i'm falling behind on that too so i definitely owe a big thanks to adam for being here right now because if it wasn't for him i would have been back at the cabin editing so thanks adam i appreciate you being out here with me buddy Oh no, oh no, that was big. Oh yes, oh yes. Wow, that is so cool. Missed it the first time. Hyper hammer. Deadly hook. Little 23. <laughs> oh yeah. Communicating back and forth with Adam. And you probably just saw the clip he caught, I said a 23 incher. He said, let's go one small guy. So he's, he's up on me of fish today. That's for sure. He said he caught the last fish on the hyper hammer from Acme. He's using a quarter ounce hyper hammer. I don't know what color he was using for sure, but that's uh, what he had going on down there right now. Anyway, that's what he said. Oh, there's a fish right here charging me on the bottom tight. Oh, it ate it. Jeez. I messed up here somewhere. Am I real? Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. How am I going to get this out of here? This is going to be bad. I've got a messed up reel. I switched rods there. And I uh, got a little bit of a line twist in my reel. So that's why this is sounding so funny. Oh, I can see it down there. That is awesome. It's a nice fish. I switched baits, switched rods here. And uh, yeah. Oh, we got him on the bottom of the... Oh, he's an eater. He's an eater. He's coming home with me for sure. Yes. Switch to a quiver spoon. I got him right on the bottom. See, I don't catch all my fish in the mouth. Some of them I just snag. But he did eat it off the bottom again there. Probably like, a, he's, I'd say he's about 18 incher. He is going to be a supper. He's going to be a dish that I like to call a walleye yummy. And if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me use this spoon lots before. This one is... A quiver spoon from Lindy. It's a good one. Okay, I gotta get this fixed. So I'm using these style of baits, jigging spoons, like right now the quiver spoon, the dinner bell, the Lindy flyer spoon, Acme hyper rattle, the, uh, the Acme hyper hammer, hammer TT. I always got the hammer. Adam's, Adam's got me calling it the hammer. I got it on the hammer. But I'm using those style of baits, uh, rapala, jigging wraps, that stuff, and I'm not using bait. I tend to pound the bottom a lot. I make them come down and I eat it out of the sand, out of the mud. 
yes, you could catch them twitching and bringing them up too, but you're going to have a, a higher percentage of getting those fish to eat it out of a dust cloud that's down there that they don't exactly know what it is for sure besides they see profile and they just instinctively think food, right? Like it, the longer they get to analyze that spoon and smell it and sniff it with no bait or stuff like that, when you're twitching it up high, there's a higher percentage that you're not going to catch that fish. Now, I can say that you're not going to. I'm probably going to end up catching this fish right now doing something like that right but let's see here i'm going to take him right down yeah okay he went down he's following me down it's going to keep pounding the mud now you can't see anything on the mega live really because i'm just kind of hardly twitching it down in the mud creating like a little dust cloud hoping that he goes over there and then stumps it right out of it and if he doesn't then i'll try to pull it up again and see if he's still around in the area okay so i, did, I did, obviously didn't get that fish to eat but you can't go wrong with taking them down into the mud and just letting them not really get a good look of what it is for sure. When you start to put bait on your, your spoon or on the little treble on the hyper hammer, all that stuff, you like just put a little bit of uh, a minnow head or some Cisco belly or something like that. You can get those fish to come up and get them to kind of smell it and then eat that way a lot of times too, if the bite's slower. Oh, this fish bait coming on the left too. You'll notice my screen looks way different than earlier. I noticed right now that I was losing my bait just a little bit down lower. Right now I couldn't um, see the bait like tight, tight to the bottom as much. So I just tried to fool around with something here a little bit. And for the most part, I've been running my contrast really high and my sensitivity i would just kind of get it to where i could see the bait and that was amazing for the most part like it gives you the sharpest image hands down but right now with dropping the contrast down and then the sensitivity up i can i can pick out the bait like really really tight to the bottom too so i think as you get like a little bit deeper like right now i'm in 29 almost 30 feet so once you get a little bit deeper i think you can play with that setting in that sense but like for the most part when i'm fishing in 20 feet the contrast high and then the sensitivity you play with it basically until you get like a nice sharp image of your your jig or your spoon or whatever you're using so right now in the video is where i'm realizing that my head camera wasn't working properly it it was recording everything in that sense was was working i checked it right after i caught that fish it was recording when my battery died right now and normally it it beeps once and then beeps three times really quick and the battery dies and it beeped once right now and it said and it did nothing else i looked at it and it said battery low powering off and it took forever to power off and it never saved any of those clips i made a huge mistake after something epic like that happened not just clicking the button and saving it that's the first time that's happened to me in that style i've had i've had gopros mess up all the time that cuts pretty deep i'm not gonna lie i'm really deep i'm i'm pumped to have it all right here but it and normally I have another camera angle too, but I have that one in Adam's shack. Um, I don't know what to say besides it just that cuts. I just went from like an ultimate high to like just such a low. I wish you guys could have seen that. Like the fish filled the whole hole. It was absolutely insane. Oh, big mark, big mark. Come on, come on, smoke it. It's gonna smoke it. Yes, big fish big fish the fish just came straight in and smoked it unbelievable this time we're gonna roll that head camera baby it's coming straight up at me it's coming straight up oh baby oh baby what do we got oh it's another nice fish it's not as big as the it's not as big as that one from this morning but it's nice it's nice that was so cool to watch it come straight in and smoke like that unbelievable easy 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 girl Oh man, when they fly in like that, you just know it's like, get ready, because it's gonna eat. Oh, this fish is nowhere near the size of that one from this morning in terms of filling up the whole hole, yet this is still a really big fish. I wish I could, I wish I could have all that head camera footage back, because that thing filled the whole hole. It was unbelievable. Get back here and show that off. A beautiful fish, probably, <laughs> probably 28-ish, I'd say. I'd say 28, unbelievable, unbelievable. 
yeah, easily, easily. 20, yeah, 100% 28 inches. Oh, look at that. Beauty, try to get my tan tucked behind there. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, the best. The best. See ya. <laughs> and look at this. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is what I should have did this morning. Click. I should have saved the clip, and we would have been okay. That fish was like nowhere near the size at the hole. Like that fish looks so small compared to that other fish in the hole. I wish I could have had all that. I feel so bad. But hey, that was epic. Yes. Dinner bell. Adam just texted, said he got a 21 incher. That's good, it's only 1240. We still got lots of time yet to make something happen. Truthfully, I hope he catches the next big fish because it's always fun to spread it around amongst your, your buddies there that you're all fishing around for sure. I'd love to see him slam a 13 pounder now, something like that. I've been fishing the smoke show this morning the smoke show with the 500 series Shimano Sahara. And actually all of these uh, rods, the, the smoke shows that I'm fishing here right now, the three of them are actually different. This is the Vanta Black. On there I have a Hyper Hammer from Acme. That's a really good bait for ice fishing. Adam's been doing good with it. I just haven't scored with it yet anything bigger if custom smaller ones with it. And then the other smoke show, this is the Twilight series and I'll go back to this one right away. This one is the medallion series from last year yet. So they're all the same rods in the sense of like the same blanks and everything like that. But there's obviously a few differences. The Twilight series, I like this. So look at this, look at the difference here. The handle length, right? Quite a bit longer. So they have, Frostbite has what's called butt jobs. And this is, I'll put it here, what, uh, which, which one this is, but it can makes your, makes your rod just a little bit longer. Look at this. They have all these Twilight series have options to spin off the back of your rod and then you can change your end. So maybe if you like something shorter, I know the guys that like to do this thing right here, this pistol grip thing, you can get a short little butt for your rod or when you like the fish like I do, like you're a little more power, you can tuck it up against your arm. And the Insanity Pepper Baby caught two big fish today. Oh, it feels so cool to be part of a, a lure that helped name it and help kind of design it, right? Look at the whole chartreuse thing. I wonder, I wonder where that came from. So wind poles are so important. I've got two wind poles in the front here just to keep it further away from the cameras and all that. And then I've got an adjustable wind pole here, another wind pole there, and then one going down. That'll help keep the whole shack from literally like, folding in on itself right because if it wasn't for the wind pulls even the back end would push up pretty far and it also keeps your your shack from like flipping over right because if it started to go up your tub if you stood up could even like lift off of the, the the ice too so wind pulls when it's this windy but it's like it's ripping today 50 kilometer hour, 50 kilometer an hour winds which is this much or this much in a miles per hour if anybody is curious I don't fish much windier usually. I'm usually at home editing. Oh, look at this mark. Charge up at the bottom. Coming straight up too. And then down. Oh, it's a nice fish. Come on. It's nice. Come on. Come on. Yep. It ain't nice. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I finished the whole wind talk thing. Or the wind pull talk in time. It doesn't feel that big. It's not, uh, it's not tiny, but it's not... Uh, not a giant it's not a giant he'd be an he'd be an eater maybe uh, a little bit too big to eat a little bit too big to eat a little bit too big to eat right there decent fish but we'll get him back golden 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 walleyes oh i got a big mark right below me big mark big 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 mark here he comes here he comes come on come on yes got him Unbelievable, I was just getting organized in here. 
because I have a special guest coming soon and then all of a sudden I saw a big big mark look below or on my bait holy this is big this is big this is big there's another one behind it oh yeah this is big this is big 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 unbelievable unbelievable oh come on oh yeah this is nice this is nice this is nice hey, adam bring your board over yeah got a good one got a good one it's not as it's not as big as my one from this morning but this is big this is nice this is nice oh easy 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 oh come on come on oh yeah it's that got that spoon in hailed are you kidding me my third tank today it's not as big as the one before but i think it's another 30 incher unbelievable it's got that quiver spoon just inhaled inhaled unbelievable oh wow yeah come in buddy i just landed a tank yeah big 29 so not quite not quite 30 <laughs> not quite 30 inches but 29 unbelievable 28 29 and 31 hello oh my goodness slay day unbelievable clay. complete sleigh day yeah buddy oh so nice job you're gonna you should fish in here for a little bit because i have to go get alex oh yeah he's yeah here, right? i had another mark up high chasing okay well i just maybe ruined who my special guest is but i got a buddy coming his name <laughs> is alex okay so this is kind of turned into a little bit of a gong show in here in terms of space and all that fun stuff but i need to make room for Alex, that's right. Alex Perrick is coming to fish with me for a few days. He's uh, the owner of Frostbite and a friend. And I invited him to come on and spend a few days with me and chase some giant walleye. Obviously, between today and the next couple days, a goal is to get him his biggest walleye he's ever caught. He just showed up. He's coming out on his sled here right away. Um, it's a hurricane, like a hurricane. I just I can't get a hold of him. I, I don't have a seat for him right now. I can give him my seat, I guess, and I could sit on the bucket. But uh, yeah, this is uh, we're tight in here now, but we're gonna make it work though. I've already had the best day, one of the best days of walleye fishing I've ever had, a 28, 29, a 31 and a quarter. I'm pretty much finished in that sense. Uh, that last one was pure luck, like in terms of. It was just sitting there staring at my bait and I twitched it and it ate it. Like there was no like, you got to twitch it down low or twitch it down high and work it. Sometimes they eat and sometimes they don't, right? That's what I've, I've said all along. To score big walleye, it's all about just spending time out there. The more time you can spend, the better chances you have. So yeah, capitalize like that. I have no idea where this video is going to head in terms of talk and all that fun stuff. At least I covered some rods and all that already, but hey, I'm just going to enjoy the, enjoy us hanging out more than anything oh you made it it's insane dude like insane good to see you buddy good i'm glad you. you came same man i'm excited for this you've uh <laughs> kind of missed some epicness today this morning i got a 13 pounder this morning 31 and a quarter and i just caught 29 like right before you came out holy cow and a 28 <laughs> right here yeah we found him <laughs> took a while <laughs> we found him Pound, just pound it in the sand, yeah, just like so it's tight and just hardly go like this. Just twitch, 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 twitch. Got it. Got him. There you go. There you go. That did not take you long at all. <laughs> First fish. <laughs> that is awesome. You're a natural. You're a natural. <laughs> That's awesome. First walleye of the trip with Clayton Chick. That's awesome. Nice, buddy. And, That's like uh, a like a solid 24 inch fish, like 23, 24 inch do fish. A, do we have a time? What time is it? Uh, it is 12, or sorry, 2.12. 2.12, so I think I left the launch at 1.45. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good start. Nice, dude. So here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna end my video 
completely right here. If you want to watch the end of this day, hopefully there's some more epicness that happens from my start to the day. I told Alex, I filled him in about the 13 pounder, the 29, the 28. If you want to watch the end of the video now, you're going to have to go over to his channel and watch it there because he's filming a video for AP Bassin, right? Yep, yep. I'm sure all of my subscribers already know who you are, but why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Hey guys, my name is Alex. I run AP Bassin's YouTube channel. I also am a co-owner of Frostbite Fishing. And uh, yeah, if you want to check me out below, I appreciate it. I'm so honored and lucky to be here with you. Like this is going to be such a cool trip for me. I've never ice fished this far north in my life. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for the next two, three. Maybe I'll just move here. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, get outside. <laughs> That's a huge one. That's, that's a good I think fish, that's my PB. Yeah, that's, that's my that's, PB. It's, it's 9 and 10 for sure. That's my PB. It's a big 100%. Fish. Unbelievable.